Hello everybody, my name is Daisy and welcome back to another Heyday video. In today's video, I am going to be going through three main ways that you can use a baby farm. The first reason to make a baby farm and the way that you can use it is to simply have a fresh start. You've had your main farm for a long time, maybe you've reached a point where you don't feel you're progressing, um, that much anymore or there's nothing really for you to work towards so you just want to start from scratch all over again and just play the farm as you would your main farm as you would any other farm so this is the first reason the second way that you can use a baby farm is you can have it be a storage farm so the purpose of a storage farm is to hold certain products whether it's sugar dairy or any random products from machines. You hold them on this farm and then you can sell them back to your main farm. So for me, I have a sugar farm and I have a dairy farm because those are products that you can never have too many of. And then I can sell them to my main farm and use them over there. The third way that you can use a baby farm is as a challenge farm. So for those who follow Jen on YouTube, AKA Gizmo Spike, this farm was my corn pop challenge farm that a whole bunch of people did where basically all you do is plant and harvest corn you can sell it in your roadside stand and you can make popcorn and sell that too with the aim of seeing how far you can level up or how many coins you can make so those are the three main ways that you can use baby farms and it is totally up to you how you want to use yours you can have more than one baby farm you can have one for each of those things um, if you would like me to go into a bit more detail about how I use each of my baby farms, please comment below. Let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. But thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.